Good afternoon. We have, first of all, time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Dr Daniel Frank, the Minister of Wallace Well Community Fellowship of the Church of Scotland. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this invitation. What we know matters, but who we are matters more. This is a quote written on our Learning Centre wall of the Oasis Project of Wallacewell Community Fellowship. Brene Brown, the author, captures the essence of what people want more than anything else from its leaders. Great men and women down through history were men and women of character. All of them had flaws. Many of them were far from perfect. But who they were and how they lived their lives in caring, supporting, and loving the people they led meant that history remembers, respects, and honors their contributions to society. Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, Winston Churchill, David Livingston, and women like Jane Matheson Hanning, a Scottish farmer's daughter, a missionary, and a matron of the Jewish mission Girls' Home in Budapest during World War II. When war broke out, she was on leave in Scotland, but she put herself in great danger by traveling back to Hungary to care for the children. When Germany invaded Hungary, she remained to defend the children in her charge, was arrested by the Gestapo, and sent to Auschwitz concentration camp, and died as a result of her immense compassion and courage. Today, as the face of the United Kingdom is changing, its leaders will be called upon to give insight and lead the people with wisdom and grace into the 21st century where the impact we have can make a difference for all of society. Leadership is based upon who we are, our character and ethics. These will be what are remembered over time and make the greatest impact for Scotland and the world. Because it's not what we know that matters, but who we are that matters more. Ultimately, this is what Jesus Christ modeled. He is, for Christians, the single greatest leader who demonstrated the kingdom of heaven on this earth. He lived a moral and ethical lifestyle that historically no one has ever been able to find fault. The reality is, people didn't follow Jesus for what he said or even for what he knew. They followed and followed him for who he is. He attracts the poor and the lost, the lonely and the addicted. And it's because he lived the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control that fault cannot be found. What we know matters, but who we are matters more. Thank you. We have topical questions. Question one, David Stewart. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what assessment has made of the